Today, we shall examine two key terms in Derridian theory, supplement and aporia. Derrida borrowed the term supplement from Rousseau, who saw supplement as an inessential extra added to something complete in itself. This very definition of supplement is self-contradictory because what is complete in itself cannot be added to and so a supplement can occur only when there is an originary lack in the element to which the supplement is added. In any binary set of terms, the first term is always privileged over the second term. It can be argued that the second term is the supplement which can be added to the first term in order to fill an originary lack in the first term. Let us consider a few examples. Examples of binary sets of terms include male, female, mind, body, truth, fiction, God, Satan. In all these cases, the first term is always privileged over the second term. But sometimes the second term can act as a supplement to the first term. The first term, for example, the, the term male is certainly complete in itself. But the second term, female, can act as a supplement and be added to the first term to further complete it. It goes without saying that if the first term is complete in everything and lacks nothing but needs a supplement to complete it, it is obvious that the first term is not complete in itself in the first place. A supplement is something that is secondary or more correctly, a supplement is something that is allegedly secondary. It comes to serve as an aid or a substitute to what is primary, what is allegedly primary, to what is original, to what is natural. A famous example given by Derrida is that of speech and writing. Speech is primary, writing is secondary, writing is secondary to speech, writing is the technique that is added to speech and the technique is foreign to its nature. The so-called original needs to be supplemented in order to be complete. Speech is said to be complete in itself, is said to be primary. Writing is said to be secondary. Writing comes as an aid to, to, to speech, but at the end of the day, writing acts as a supplement to speech and ends up helping speech to be complete in itself. Another example provided by Derrida is that of natural sex and masturbation. Natural sex is primary, masturbation is secondary. However, though natural sex is said to be complete in itself, masturbation, which is secondary, comes to the service of natural sex 
supplements it and helps it to be complete in itself. In the context of literary criticism, supplement is a part of the text that is added to the text in order to give emphasis to the meaning which the text tries to foreground. But Derrida points out that this supplement does not merely remain a supplement to the text but becomes the thing in itself. The supplement thereby subverts the truth claimed by the text. Aporia is an old Greek word which means unpassable path. It is the point at which a road concludes in a cul-de-sac. It also means puzzle, bewilderment. Aporia has a pivotal role in deconstruction theory. Aporia is the point of undecidability at which the text most obviously undermines its own rhetorical structure, dismantles its own fabric, deconstructs itself. Aporia suggests an inherent contradiction, an insuperable deadlock, making matters absolutely undecidable. Aporia is the area of absolute impasse, where the condition of possibility is also at once the condition of impossibility. The task that deconstruction sets for itself is to seek out aporias, the most doubtful moments of a text, the points of the most intense self-contradiction found in a text, the philosophical puzzles that are woven into a text, the point at which the text has hit a brick wall. Aporias are the blind spots that exist within any text. They are the moments of intense self-conflict in the life of the text. Usually a text comes to have an aporia on account of the tension between the logic of the text and the rhetoric of the text. What the text manifestly means to say and what the text nonetheless is constrained to mean. It is the task of the deconstructor to establish by identifying the aporias in the text to establish that the text decenters the very truth which it tries to construct.